I'm with Jim Wheeler here on Ice Fishing with Buzz, Hunter and Fish. Jim's taking me out somewhere on February 9th. It is a whopping, I think, 21 degrees right now. Jim, uh, you've taken me somewhere out. You blindfolded me out. I have a clue where you are. I see the water is somewhat dingy. Not a lot of weeds. We're just getting going. Now, you, what is your, what is your goal this evening? Well, we've been doing real good on crappie, bluegill, but the main thing is I've seen a lot of your posts and I want your kids to eat some fish. So that's one reason I brought you out here. Oh! I want to send you home with some food. Oh, it's <laughs> going to be like that. Well, shoot, get out the popcorn, sit on down, enjoy this show. Food for the kids, Andrew. Food for the kids. Just a small jig. Ice jig. Little red tipper on it. Jim, will this work, you think? This is what I picked out. I think it looks great. Of course, I like catching more fish than you, too. Come on. <laughs> man, oh man. This is what I gotta deal with. Wheeler we'll fishing. We'll get you squared up. In here with my glove off this whole time trying to do it. My hands numb. <laughs> I got bobbers anytime you want to put one in that upper hole. Go, bro, you. start there. That one. Yeah, it's on yours. <laughs> so all I gotta do is walk away. Yep. Stay away, Jim. It's like a rock bass. Yeah, that's a beautiful red here, I believe. Rock bass. <sighs> rock bass. <sighs> what do you call this people? I'm not saying it's a rock bass. Jim's calling it a rock bass. Put in the comments what you think this thing is. Oh, God. Oh, good. Man, Ray Smith has done here in the last couple minutes. Crappie. Big old. Big old bluegill. Ray, what the heck, man? What are you doing over here? It's so darn good. <laughs> All of a sudden, they're coming out of the weeds. I got him. I didn't give him. <laughs> Man, I got my loose. Drag a little loose, I think. Nope, that's gonna be a big old crappy. I don't think so. I think he's a little tiny bluegill, is what he is. Oh. But! No doubt about it, Jim and Ray got me onto something. That was my first drop after putting on. I don't, what'd you call this? He called it a wedgie, is what he called it. What Ray called it. And you see it, my very first drop of it, and the fish ate it. Jim and I have been set up 100 feet away. Ray's over here having a good time. It's amazing. I'll say this is a fun setup. I like this. Three of us all corralled here. That's how you set up a couple of fishermen here. And that's why we end up with a bucket of fish. I know, I know. It goes out saying you guys really enjoy me being here too. That's all I've been thinking. <laughs> Jim? There we go, Jimmy. Nighttime 
bluegill. Yeah, son, I think he's feeling like a, ooh, he might be three and a half for Ooh, yes, sir. Now that's a bluegill. What'd you do, kill my minnow? It ain't even moving now. I told it to <laughs> calm down. They didn't listen to me. I didn't care at all. I think you killed my minnow, dude. <laughs> you paid more damn. attention, you would've caught that fish. Who touched it last? When it was moving? Obviously, I positioned it correctly to get bit. That's obviously what I did. You caught less than anybody. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't know if I caught less than you right now. I tell you the truth. I don't know if that's actually true. Well, when you those, count to one, it took off your rod. I, <laughs> hey, you all, you snooze, you lose, but uh, you're, you're not a good person, Jim Wheeler. Here we go. Andy Buzz caught a crappy. Yeah. It's gonna sound terrible, but I put Ray's wedgie on there <laughs> with Jim's b moth. <laughs> Dunks and wait, we're starting to put him on the ice. <laughs> I was like, what? What is this? Ray, my gosh, man. We leave you alone for one minute. <laughs> Get this thing flopping all over the place. Dunk, dunk, another nice one. The one thing that uh, definitely proved today is don't be stubborn move. Jim had been kitting him really good and like I showed you earlier 100 yards back and it just really wasn't materializing. Very easy for a fisherman to stay stubborn and stay put but we moved and you can see that was the right call. Really? Hey I got one. Ray's got one. What about you Jim? Yeah I'm just sitting here. Oh shoot look at this crappie. <laughs> look at that slab. <coughs> yes sir. Ooh just hooked me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh man. Funny guy, ain't he? Big enough here. Huh? Oh, good one there, Ray. So. Let's go the other one. Oh, oh, look at that giant. Come on now, get that thing. He's doing it. <laughs> you got yourself a hubcap. <laughs> holy nice, moly. Jeez <laughs> Louise. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Well, if nothing else, anyone who believes that fish don't move under your eyes when it's cold, this blows that theory out of the water. We've seen fish coming and going, following our baits up and down all day and evening and night long. Sure, I've caught some awesome crappies. Ray and Jim, I appreciate you guys taking me out here fishing. Uh, I learned this little wedge thing that uh, Ray, you say you got them at Bass Pro Shops to put on a little jig. I think it's definitely made a difference. They have ignored minnows tonight, but they've uh, eaten the bee moths quite a bit, and that's where most of our fish came off. Jim, real, what'd you think of the evening? I know you're disappointed because you didn't catch 100 fish. That's what Jim yeah. normally does, but we still got a big mess of it's fish. Slow. Yeah, we still got a bucket full. There's no doubt about that. And someone's going to be eating good. Thank you for watching. Hit that little subscribe notifications button so you know every time we release a video. Until next time, we'll see you on the ice or on the water. <laughs> <laughs>